do satellites have a specific lifetime and on what factors does that depend what causes satellites to hit the earth they are orbiting around the earth without any fuel getting solar energy okay uh why okay do satellite have do satellites have a specific lifetime yes it depends on a number of factors first of all uh, the components of the satellite the 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 machinery of the satellite how long will it last everything degrades in vacuum in space even on earth any machine won't last forever after a certain time the components will wear out and will stop functioning so there is a certain uh, amount of time anything can, can work and then it stops working let's say you have a satellite with a fuel source uh that fuel source will have a finite lifetime after which the electricity will stop flowing sometimes some satellites don't have any fuel source energy source they have solar panels even those solar panels over over a few years will slowly degrade the amount of uh, energy they will be able to give the satellite will slowly decrease over time eventually over that even that ends and the satellite ceases to function the way it's designed to function that is one factor so if you have a satellite that's let's say at a geostationary orbit 36000 or so kilometers above the surface of the planet then that satellite will have a finite lifetime after which it will not last because of these factors which are just outlined there is another uh factor that limits the lifetime of satellites when you have satellites in low earth orbit let's say 200 kilometers above the surface let's say 300 kilometers above the surface these satellites will uh, will experience something called atmospheric drag so technically the atmosphere ends at 100 kilometers above the surface of the planet that's technically because actually it doesn't quite end there the atmosphere just goes on and on for a very long for a very, until it becomes so diffuse you can't really differentiate the atmosphere from outer space but it it doesn't abruptly end at 100 kilometers above the surface so even if you if, if a satellite is 200 kilometers above the earth surface it will experience collisions with atmosphere molecules air molecules the collisions will be very rare very infrequent but it, they will be there so this gives rise to something called atmospheric drag which slowly over the days weeks months years slows down the uh, the the velocity slows down the speed at which the satellite is orbiting the earth and because of that the altitude of the, of the satellite comes down slowly 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 and the further and the closer it comes to the surface of the earth the higher is the atmospheric drag so it's a uh, it's a self reinforcing phenomenon and once the satellite is low enough and the atmospheric drag is high enough the satellite will break apart and burn up in the atmosphere so some satellites have a rocket engine small rocket engine which will periodically be used to boost the orbit of the satellite but even that rocket fuel will eventually end will get over right so these are the factors that limit the lifetime of a satellite if it's a low earth orbit satellite it will eventually uh, end up re-entering the atmosphere and burning up hopefully not hitting the planet so that's what happens